Looks good, chat. We got some stuff to unload for our day today. And, um, yesterday, the day before yesterday, just a ton of shit's been changing. I guess the end of the semester comes with, um, some changes, some new things to come. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and unpack it. One thing I'm grateful for is God. Because I don't know if I've said that yet. I'm experimenting with religion. I... I mainly say that because I'm, I partake in some Christian relig uh, rituals, but I don't know enough to definitively say I'm Christian. And, you know, because, I, I, again, a lot of it's because I don't know enough. Um, sucks to say, but another big reason is because uh, I don't know so much. I'm almost uh, embarrassed to say it. I don't want to say I fully believe in God when I'm just experimenting. Um, you know, because there's some people who really, really, really are. And I'm not that yet. So. Just talking. Nope. All right. <sighs> um, I have some food here because, um, so I do a few things at once. I haven't eaten enough today, so. I'm eating what I didn't eat earlier. I'm currently in a call with that girl again. But even before I get into that, woke up late again, which is great. Um, and yeah, I just woke up late again. Not happy about that. Kept sleeping in, kept sleeping in, and then I was like, oh shit, I have class. And, you know, I know my grandma woke me up like 1040. She was like, we're still going to class. And I was like, yeah, actually. So I started getting dressed immediately. And I was like, fuck. No, I actually don't have that class till next Monday because the final exam is on Monday. So, yeah, I chilled out. And I have a class after that. So I had like an hour, 15 minutes to play around with. So I did what I normally do in the morning. Did my Duolingo. Um, some other things like pray and all that. Just like some stuff I do in the morning. I obviously brush my teeth before I leave. And then I had my last class in sculpture today. Which um, I've come to know some pretty cool people in that class. Um... A lot of people left the class, like they dropped it, um, you know, and you know, that's cool and all. Um, and it's, ne it's never going to compare to how I felt at the end of high school. <laughs> um, I'm 18, I just, this is my first year in college, I just graduated high school this summer, um, and nothing will compare to how I felt ending college. If you want to know what that was like for me, the video is called Today Was My Last Day of High School or something. It was like way, way, way down um, in my videos. It was like somewhere, it was like really late May or really early June. I think it was like really early June, like maybe June 4th. 4th. Um, and yeah, it was sad. But, like, I didn't really care. No. Like, I cared, but I wasn't sad, is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, I go home. And if you watch the video of the day before yesterday, then you saw 
how I was talking about some little situation where I just felt pretty disrespected and some dude, um, you know, I thought we were cool. I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I don't want this kid in my life anymore. So he called the group chat, but I didn't know it was him calling the group chat because I forgot that that group chat is the one that he's in. So I saw the name and I was like, just so used to it. So I called and then he's in there. And I thought it was some other dude because he sounds like someone else was saying. So I was like, yo. And then I realized it was him and I was like, well, I said the next time um, we intersect, I'm just going to say what's on my mind. So um, I did a bit prematurely because, you know, I wasn't expecting it. So I wasn't anxious. I was just like, all right, just say it. So I was like, I really didn't appreciate what you said about me. Um, you know, he thought I was joking. And he was like, I know we haven't played Fortnite in a while. Like, he really thought I was joking. I was like, nah, I'm dead ass. I think he was kind of like, I think befuddled is the word. Like, he, he was caught off guard at my seriousness, I guess, because I'm not a really serious person. Um... Yeah, and he was kind of just like trying to play it off a little bit like, you know, like He wasn't used to me trying to be serious. So he Maybe to me it seemed like he was like not trying to be serious like he was almost like uncomfortable or something So he kept trying to steer it. And I was like, I don't know. I, I feel like you can look back at the scenario um, I was like, you know, I feel like you kind of incited it a little bit and he was like, no, I did not He just found your Instagram and I was like, you know what? um I, you know, I did feel a bit shitty, but I was like, you know, there used to be a time in my life where I'd really look back at what I've done before and reflect and be like, that is not the right way to go about it. But um, nowadays, um, I trust myself a lot more. And there's, again, like I, I feel bad a little bit, but I'm like, I said what I said. I'm going to stick by what I said because that's the choice I made. That's the choice that I said. Um... So I guess I'm glad I did that. Um, yeah, but I don't think he like really knew how tr how true I was being. We have like one more class because we have a final exam. I don't really plan on talking to him really, um, which is a convenient time for all this to have happened at the end of the semester. So I don't really got to talk to him. And then I talked to my boy Zay a little bit when I get home and we're chilling. You know, I kind of blew him off a bit yesterday because I was talking to someone else. Um, which, you know, I don't feel great that I do that. Um, but how I am is if you get me first, if I'm already with somebody, then I don't, I like to give them my full time, um, and you know, all that. So the same would have worked if I was with my boy Zay. Um, as I said earlier, I was talking about my boy Zay and then, uh, the person called me and I was like, uh, I'm with my boy right now. I'll call you later. And then, yeah. So the person, this said individual, is um, the girl I've been talking to online. I, I, I don't even like feel great saying that because to me, the idea, I don't know. It, I still don't like the idea of like saying out loud, I'm dating somebody online. Should that happen? Oh, I'm not saying that's happened yet. But it sounds weird to um, do that, but you know, a ton of people do that. You know, I thought my boy Zay would make fun of me when I brought out some. He was like, I've done that before. So, I mean, I was like, all right. I want it for the experience. Um, but, you know, first thing we do when I get in the call with her, not the first thing, but the first thing that she, like, really talks about is, like, yeah, I really need a boyfriend, man. Like, I swear to God. Like, she's hinting it so straight up. And because I'm so confident in the fact that she has been, but at the same time, I'm so content where I am right now, I've gotten very comfortable. And in that comfortability, like, I enjoy talking to her, and that's the same thing. Like, I don't, I have so little experience, like, dating. I don't even know what we do. I don't know if I'd be good enough, um... If we were actually, if I actually did ask and then she said yes or shit, for example.
So we're chilling, having a good time. I love talking to her. And um, I don't know if it's like attachment issues, like I don't know, but every time I get to a new day, I'm always wondering if that'll be the last time that she reaches out to talk to me. Um, but yeah, so later on, eventually we like talk about Amigo for some reason. I guess I was like screen sharing and uh, fucking on YouTube it was like my final thing on Omegle and then I looked it up and apparently Omegle's going down and then you know eventually she was like I'll do it um and I think she did it maybe just show me what she looked like I don't know but regardless she went on Omegle and yeah she's pretty um which I don't I don't understand why she talks to me I don't at all. I don't. Online in general, why? She's pretty. I know, I know, well, again, I guess I'm just going to start talking about them. I'll drop this point for later. Um, so we're on Omegle. And, you know, we're meeting a ton of people. Saw a few dudes jerking their shit. <laughs> Which is fucking crazy. Oh my god, it's so fucking weird. Um, you know, a ton of dudes. Asking for a snap, you know, trying to shoot their shot. And, you know, like, the whole time, like, I'm going along with it. I'm, like, having a good time. I'm just, like, laughing at the whole thing. Um, and there's this one dude. His name was Braylon. And he did seem like a really cool guy. He was trying to be really funny and shit. And... I mean, yeah, like, he, he was really funny. Um... He's like, I'm 6'2", you know, all that. And then he's like, I take medicine to make me feel good, smoke weed, all that. Which I don't think she supports that or fucks with that shit, so that's something. And, um, yeah, but then, so he asked for a snap eventually, and she said no. You know, the whole time I'm just, like, chilling and I'm, like, talking, I'm giving input and whatever, and then... You know, like, they keep talking, they keep talking, they keep talking, and, um, and I'm really sorry, because it's, like, not easy for me to say, because I just, I sound so fucking desperate, I really sound desperate, um, like, I'm not gonna feel good looking back on this type of shit, I feel really, like, weak, and whatever, like, I really push into perspective like when I can just talk about a scenario and say how it should be and what I should pull away from it and then being in the scenario but I'm gonna keep talking so eventually um he didn't even ask her again but she was like you know what? I will give you my snap I don't even have her snap um I never asked but I bet I could get it if I wanted it um yeah and then she sent her a little discord thing and and I go quiet I go fucking quiet. I was so comfortable and I really enjoyed having that comfort knowing that I'm very certain that she likes me. I was so comfortable and then I go dead quiet. You know, like I don't want to talk anymore. I'm like, alright, let me let my let me let my dog out. Um, so I do it, I come back. We're still talking. I'm just sitting there. Then eventually he gets added to the call and I'm like, yo. He's like, yeah, yo, let me be right, I'm, I'm gonna be right back. So, he left, he never came back. On his Discord thing, it doesn't even like say the offline symbol, I don't know what that means. Um, but I think, I don't know, maybe because I was there. But... I got too comfortable. And this is the part that hurts to say. It's already like I'm in fucking love with her. It's weird. I don't really know her that well. I haven't been even talking for long. I mean... Say in love, I don't know. 
But I guess I just really liked the feeling that she gave me. It really made me feel wanted, I guess, and special. And yeah, so he, le he leaves. She keeps going on Omeo for a little bit. And I'm still quiet. And eventually I like kind of just like stop her. I'm like, I, you know, honestly, I'm just going to get some of my shit done. <laughs> and keep in mind, like, I'm fucking shivering. Not because of, like, that, but, like, I'm just cold. I, like, I was shaking for a little bit. It's almost like if I was getting cheated on. Which, again, it hurt. It really hurts to say because I feel so fucking weak and I feel so vulnerable saying that shit. You know, and look down on me all you want because that's kind of why I feel the way I feel about this because I feel like it's something other people look down on me for. Do what you want. Um, and so I take my shower, I hop my ass in there and it's the coldest I've ever been. I feel so like I'm shivering in the shower, which normally it's cause when I'm like really like not like my body is not ready for it. I just like really don't eventually I do go in the shower, but it's cause I was already cold beforehand. So I hop in the shower, I'm fucking shivering, and I'm like, you're gonna fucking sit in there anyways. You're not gonna be a bitch. You're gonna love it. And, you know, eventually I start thinking, God is real. You know why? Because I've been praying to suffer. It sounds crazy, but if you watched yesterday's video or the day before that even, I talk about hatred and and how it makes me feel and I feel so great because I know I'm going to use all of that to be better and it's going to propel my success in the ways that I feel successful a lot more. So, yeah, and so I prayed to suffer, you know, and I was thanking God this morning, I think, or no, like yesterday morning, I was like, Thank you for, like, bringing somebody like her. Just, like, out of nowhere. Like, that's the only way I could even explain why she even started talking to me. Like, just almost, like, from God or some shit. Because, like, why else? I was just chilling. We were in, like, a server together. I said, like, some things. Not even to her. Then she came in my DMs. And we had, like, a few lines of text. Like, a few months later. Hits me up. And then eventually starts getting, um, constant. And then we start calling. It, it literally should not have happened. So I feel like it's almost like a gift from God. So I'm like, thank you, God. Um, give this to me as an experience. I don't know where this might go. But whatever happens, just let me learn from it. And again, I prayed on a different occasion, saying I want to suffer. I want to find more reasons to hate life and then get over it. Not even hate life, but I want to find more reasons that I could be better for. I want to go through hardship, experience hate, and then use that hate, and then go even further. And then feeling this, you know, like I've said tons of scenarios before about how, well, like, what I should even take away from it. Like, oh, you just want to, you know, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, why am I so fucking desperate? Beats me. Um, I, again, I think it's really because I felt so comfortable with her liking me. So I think that, you know, I guess I ran through it before. And if you don't take an opportunity in that window, they lose interest. And when they lose that interest, it, I guess I almost got flashbacks of that. And I was like, fuck. I got too careless. But we're chilling. She's in the car right now. And I was watching the movie. The movie ended. I think she was asleep. But I guess, you know, I was sitting in the shower. You gotta do it. You gotta ask her now. Let me look at how long we've been going. 19. <laughs> you gotta do it. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it now. But I also want you to to know when I wasn't when I wasn't talking when she was on Omegle 
when I was in the shower, when I got out of the shower. Oh my god, I just felt, like, depressed. Like, I felt, like, like, depression. I don't know how else to put it. It wasn't just being sad. So there's a ton of sadnesses that I like. But that one, I just, like, did not want to do anything. And I'm glad I felt it in that small of a time frame. And at that small of an issue. Like, let's say I actually got with her and then she cheated on me or some shit. That's going to be a lot more. It's going to last a lot longer. So I'm glad I actually got a taste of that debilitating sadness right there. Which, again, I, I should not even feel that way. Um, one day I won't feel that way. But yeah, so I come back and she's on Deafen on Discord. You know, why are we talking on Discord? Whatever. Discord's a weird place. That's where she hit me up at. So we're still talking there. And... She's on deaf and I come back and I'm like, oh my god. I wonder if that um, Braylon dude's talking to her. So I hit up some people on the phone and I'm just sitting there and I'm just enjoying their company. And I'm just, I was laying in the bed and I was like, no, because Katie might, well I said her name, Katie might come back. So I laid on the floor and I was just like laying there, listening to the phone, listening if I could hear Katie in my headphones, come back eventually and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, man? I'm that desperate, I can't even like chill in bed. I'm laying on the floor in like such a fucked up state. I'm just like enjoying hearing voices. Um, and yeah, so the movie just finished, and I have this to do, and I have to brush my teeth, and then I'm done. And I slip in before I go and, like, put my food in the microwave and make my yogurt that's over there. I'm, like, trying to formulate it. I'm, like, pretty sure she's asleep. <laughs> if not, that's kind of why I said it. But, you know... When I got back out of the shower, I said I was going to do this, I said I was going to do that, and I, I didn't. Um, but I did do one thing. Um, I said, why'd you ever start talking to me? Which goes back to me being like really curious about why, as pretty as she is, she talked to me in the first place. She didn't even know what I looked like originally. But she kept on um, pushing on. And she still didn't hit me up day after day. She's like... I, I don't know. I, I could say she's flustered. I was hoping she was. Because there's a moment she wasn't like even talking. Like... I asked and she's like... Silent. I was like, hmm... And she's like, I don't know. You know, then eventually she saw something, but I... Also, she was on deaf and eventually she came back while I'm laying on the floor and she's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, um, I was praying to suffer. I'm, again, I'm glad I got a taste of it. And, so yeah. I asked her that. And then after the movie finished, I'm just standing there and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I'm got i gonna go eat some. I didn't say that to her, but I'm thinking I gotta go eat some. So I'm standing there, headphones on. I'm like, she probably sleep, but she might not be. So I'm like, so... And I'm giving a ton of pauses in between my words because I'm like really trying to think of what to say next. All right, I um got something to say. Um, don't know if you're there or not, but then I'm gonna try and like replicate. I was like, I like you. I don't know if you're there or not. 
Um, maybe we have something to eat. We can talk about it later. You know. Damn, I saw her mic moving earlier. That's why I was like, hello, are you here? And I was speaking, and I think I heard her a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know if she heard it. She probably didn't, but if not, maybe tomorrow I'll be like, did you hear me yesterday? And then... Should be the day, because, again... I'm already like so attached and I and I hate it. I just want a chance, man. I don't wanna lose it when I've already gotten so comfortable. So I'm like, that Braylon dude, he was neat. Is he anything like me? No. He takes medication to stay alive. Like again, he's a cool dude, but like he's really talking about how suicide of uh, He's talking like a little bit about like suicide and he's like, oh, these pills stop me from killing myself. You need pills to stay alive. You don't have what I have. You don't have my mentality. You don't have my mindset. Even if this goes array and or awry, I don't even, I don't even know. Even if, let's say she's like, I don't think that I need whatever. Bye. That's just gonna how it's gonna be. It's gonna be how I have to take it. And I will take it. And I'll move on. But I think I have a chance. And I've realized that I feel special, but I'm really no different than somebody else that she could have just been talking to on Omegle. So it's time to lock in and quit playing around because people don't have time to wait for me forever. So I'm going to ask. I've already explained my reasons. Yeah, you might be like, oh, it's online dating, whatever. You're a pussy. You're this, you're that. I don't give a fuck. If you're going to view me like that, then you're probably not even going to like follow me. You're not going to like me. Um, so I don't really give a fuck. But if you are curious about, you know, more on why I think how I think, there's some videos. You can just kind of read the title. You'll probably know. Um, recent. Fuck me, man past three days have been wild. <laughs> These past three days have been so wild. I've, I've done a fucking sleep call with her for the past three days as well. You know, like, because I just don't want to leave. Again, like, I'm already, like, fucking attached. So, you know, we've just been, like, sleeping in the car together. The first time we were, like, going to sleep together. Probably we're both still awake, but we're trying to sleep. Second time, she's asleep first. Third time, she's asleep first. Or maybe this is their third time. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that suicidal dude that 6'2 I'll make up for it with my character I hope again he had a he seemed like a, a cool dude like I hate to shit on him I don't even know him but I'm gonna try because I've been given this opportunity by God so I like to think and he showed me how I appreciate it so I'm gonna try and take back what I said about suffering and make me suffer in other ways out of that. I don't know. I'm gonna go to bed. Peace out. I love you guys, by the way. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, bye. Wish me luck.